So here we are, this is where we're at. <laughs> Help. When I say that I am obsessed with this outfit, I did cry the other day of happiness, if I'm being completely open with you guys. I really, really like how skin-like this foundation is. All right, my friends, final foundation. Are you peeing? Oh my God. Everybody, it is Dingle here and welcome welcome back to my channel I hope you all are doing super super duper well and today guys I want to try on some outfits with you guys I had a crisis recently a very first first world problem crisis if you will you guys through the last like few outfit shopping type of videos might also have been as surprised at this crisis as I was Jack and I have some social things coming up even some trips that include some social things coming up and we actually have one coming up very soon like this week soon and I have not been able to talk about it at all because I'm not sure if this person watches the vlogs or not and the person we are going to visit is kind of a like surprise type of thing so for this surprise trip this is a surprise for everyone because I can't tell you where we're going so this week you guys will find out where we are landing this week and I'm actually so excited but for this trip Jack asked if I needed anything like any outfits or anything because it's a trip but also we'll be seeing human beings like others it's not just like Jack and I going to relax somewhere with ourselves only ourselves like we will be seeing people and I thought because of the stuff that we got for Florida I was just like no like I have plenty of stuff like it's totally fine but then I started looking at the clothes that I have acquired just the last couple times we went online shopping you guys know you've seen those vlogs or like those shop with me's I didn't go crazy I would get like three to four pieces maybe but even still those three to four pieces were very comfy, very loungy, very casual. And I don't have to wear a real bra with like any of that stuff, you know? I love it, but if you have like a baby shower to go to or a party to go to or something, like I'm gonna wanna look a little more put together, a little more spruced up, like a little elevated type of thing. And the clothes that I have, I'm, I'm not kidding. I went through my closet last night to make sure I wasn't hallucinating about my wardrobe. Or like being that person where it's like, I have nothing to wear to this thing. But like I had literally nothing. <laughs> With that said, I have a few new outfits. I just went to pick this one up. I never shop at the loft, very rarely. Every time I go, it's a hidden gem, and I'm really excited to show you what I got. I think the main thing that sparked this is the fact that I do not have a lot of things that aren't crop tops, and when you're like going around and seeing other people that you haven't seen in a while, you might not feel like crop tops are the type of vibe. At least I don't. I don't feel like the crop top with the like casual short look is the look for every occasion and I didn't have things that were kind of longer than crop tops because I've been home and working from home and not going to anything fancier than something I can wear a t-shirt and biker shorts with so here we are this is where we're at <laughs> help. So again, we've got the classic band tee type of thing with a biker short. Love that for us. This is the dress I got for Florida and I got a bandeau to wear under it. And then we also have these short alls, which I have been wearing with crop tops and they look really cute, but definitely beachy. Like I left the house yesterday with Jack to go to Freeport and there were people like doing the lawn and stuff outside and they were like, oh, are you going to the beach? And I was like, no. Just Going out in public, going going to stores. It looks very beachy and very casual. So I thought that if I had more of a t-shirt type of look underneath those, that it would look a little less beachy, a little less casual, more of a cute outfit. But your girl didn't have, literally didn't have any t-shirts. No t-shirts, none. So we got the linen shorts that we all know and love. And again, a few crop tops. Here are the new items that I'm really excited to show you guys. Let's show, let's let's do like, like maybe least exciting the most exciting. The only purchase we made yesterday were these shorts in Gap. And I normally do not shop in Gap. It's just not my vibe. But these shorts were calling my name because I mean you can you guys know me. You understand why these might be calling might be calling my name. The tie and the cinched waist thing and they were like more high waisted than I thought they would be. So they were kind of just this like beachy. We'll we'll try them on together. But these were really cute and I don't have any jean shorts. 
shorts currently besides like the short alls but that's a very different type of style but just another pair of shorts to have under my belt i really liked them they were 50 percent off so these were 44.99 i got them for like 20 something dollars so it was a steal loved these at american eagle i picked up this shirt since i have been in crop tops all year i'm, I'm i want to ease my way into the whole t-shirt thing there's crop tops like like tight little crop tops and then like massive band tees and i don't have anything in between so i thought this little baby doll shirt was a nice in between it would definitely go down to where these shorts hit so i know that it's a great length so i can wear this with these shorts and that would be super cute with like my white birkenstocks or like even these bands i think that's a super cute outfit for the summer and i loved the baby doll aspect to them like this little cinch stuff i thought that was so freaking cute like such a cute detail and i can also try it underneath this so it's not just a like sleeveless crop top underneath it and it would make it more of an outfit. These were on sale at American Eagle for $14.99. So those were awesome. I will leave everything by the way that I am mentioning linked down below. If you guys like the outfits and you wanna match me. And then the most exciting one, the most exciting one, my loft purchase, guys. <laughs> Okay, I don't even want to like explain that. I'm just gonna show you. So here are the shorts. Again, have not tried anything on. We will do so in just a minute. But here are the shorts. They are a linen short, high-waisted, very, very thick band here. So I thought that might be really flattering. And then on the back, we've got pockets. So cute. And I really liked the kind of longer length that these have. And to go with it, a matching linen tank top. Oh my gosh. I know what you're thinking. Matt, that's a crop top but the model on the website that sold me on this set did not show it as a crop top these shorts are high-waisted enough at least on the model for this to just go with it and be such a cute freaking set and this is 100% linen and this is also 100% linen so I thought that this number for the summer could be another just like that much more elevated outfit to wear with some nice sandals or something and like my oh I don't have my necklace or my earrings on today some jewelry you know Know, very casual very breathable still you put in some effort and it's cute you know let's just start trying some of these outfits on okay friends I don't know who gave this outfit the permission to be this adorable I know what you're thinking I know what you're thinking Mac this shirt is still cropped and I know but it is far less cropped than my other ones honestly I am much more comfortable with this level of crop than like this level of cropped very tight against my body this is a very nice loose type of fitting very comfortable fitting t-shirt I love the freaking baby doll looking details on this it is so cute and these shorts fit like a freaking dream I got both of these items in medium and I'm literally obsessed I would wear these with my vans I would wear it with maybe the Burks I'd have to see it on but so freaking cute like I love these I love this outfit and here is the little doll shirt with these overalls and uh, again I'm obsessed with it I think this is perfect it is a lot more elevated than wearing the like crop tops that I have under this. I feel like this is an actual outfit versus a outfit I'm gonna wear to the beach just to take off. So very much like this. Again, could be with Vans, could be with white burks, not really sure. Definitely will be an outfit for a trip or just in the summer when I'm going out. You guys, when I say that I am obsessed with this outfit, I don't think that you quite understand. <laughs> Look at how perfectly fitted this thing is. It is the comfiest, flowiest thing I've ever, ever put on my body. These shorts fit absolutely perfectly. They come up to about here and they still got some room. I probably could have done a small, but I like how these fit in more of a looser type of way. And like what a put together outfit. If we have like some nice sandals on or something, jewelry I usually wear, like so freaking cute. And the thing is I can now wear these shorts with other tops and then this top with other tops as well but it's so cute as like a matching summer linen set they have a few other colors on their website so i will of course leave it linked down below they've got this mustardy color they've got this like pink color don't know if the colors are across the top and the bottom the last time i checked the top had only two of the colors i'm not really sure so check it out if you like it because i'm obsessed <laughs> and here's the top with the linen shorts that you guys know that i already love and i've owned for about a year now. These are from, I think, H&M. 
I think they're still, I thought I saw them in the store the other day. I'm not sure, but I love these and these are such a staple. I love that I got this kind of neutral green color because it goes with a lot of the other stuff I own, which is also very neutral. It's definitely a little more cropped with these shorts because they're not as high-waisted, but I would absolutely wear this as an outfit for the summer. Like, oh my gosh. Literally so cute. I can't, I can't. I have outfits, you guys. I feel like an actual human being and it's crazy. Hi friends, it is the next day and I realized that yesterday was kind of like a lot of the things that I'll be wearing this summer now that we can like be social and like not just be in our houses, not seeing other people and everything was on sale. But still a lot of the staples that I will be wearing this summer are a lot of the stuff that you guys saw me get earlier this year when I was picking out a few pieces for Florida, including some fan t-shirts and stuff like that. So I'm gonna put a few pictures that I have of the band t-shirt plus biker short type of look that I really know and love as well as the crop top as well as what I'm wearing again today. I think I was wearing the same outfit yesterday. That's embarrassing. I'm clean. I swear. I'm a clean person. Going with the theme of trying things out that are on sale for the summer. I got this Maybelline Dream Radiant Liquid Hydrating Foundation and normally this would send me like running to the hills I would not be putting this on my oily prone oily faced skin but if you guys didn't see the last video where I was testing out some new Maybelline BB cream that I got this was coming up in a few videos that had to do with skin tints and like light foundations for oily skin so I figured we would give it a shot together I tested this out in my other video I'll leave that link down below for the summertime I don't need to keep both of these I just don't need them and so what I'm gonna do is test this out today. I am in the shade Classic Ivory. Oh, and I got this for $2 off. So on sale, my friends at Ulta. So what I'm going to do is just do a couple pumps like we did the other one. It's always nerve wracking. Oh, okay. Consistency, I would say is very similar almost to like the BB cream. Very like kind of thick, but still liquidy, still good. I'm gonna use you guys to apply. Oh, it's actually a lot lighter than I thought it was going to be. Well, hopefully since it is a lighter coverage, like our BB cream that we tested out, it will be okay. It'll be a good shade. Other thing that I have to understand is I will be getting tanner naturally just throughout the summertime. What I love about the idea of a lighter coverage foundation is that hopefully my tan will continue to show through and it's not like way too pigmented of a foundation. You know, I did not put on any primer or powder before putting this on. When I look at it in my mirror up close, the camera always makes it look a lot paler, like makes me look a lot paler. When I look at it here, it's like a pretty good match, if not more tan than I am right now. But I think it's a good match because my forehead got a little tanner the other day when I had the top down in June. Our car, it's matching that pretty well. Um, first impressions, blending it out. I really like how it blends out. It's almost as easy as the other BB cream that we tried, like to blend out, like that was a live blend out. And here we are. I don't see any streaks. It's not super mattifying as the packaging might suggest. Like it doesn't suggest that it's mattifying, so it's living up to it. A little bit extra maybe. Let's see how it looks on like some red areas. It looks pretty Pretty natural down the neck as well. Like if it's not an exact shade match, I actually think that that is okay. Wipe the rest, right? Wipe the excess on the neck anyway. Excess, excess. The fact that I'm trying out some foundations for the summertime for when I'm getting like tanner or just when I want a lighter look. We just talk about how exciting that is anyway. <laughs> Something happened in the last couple of weeks. It's definitely the weather and like being able to go outside. I don't know what it's like around you all or where you live right now, but a a lot of stuff is reopening near us and I it makes my heart happy I'm just gonna I'm just gonna mention it I feel like that would make anyone happy just seeing things going back to the way that they might have used to be like I didn't realize how much that was impacting my brain and like how much I got used to just the way that things have been until they start going back to what they used to be. I'm like, oh my gosh, that's right. We used to be able to do this or we used to be able to do that. And like, oh my gosh, just in time for the summer. So between the weather and just what it's like here right now, I am just, oh my gosh, I, I could cry. I did cry the other day. 
of happiness, if I'm being completely, completely open with you guys. I was elated. So again, I feel this camera makes things a little brighter than what they are. This is what it's looking like with one layer. And first impressions, gosh, I need my eyebrows done. I have an eyebrow appointment tomorrow. Maybe I can take you guys along on it. First impressions, I think, I think I like this maybe a little bit more than the BB cream. It is still sheer, but I think it's giving me just that little bit extra that the BB cream maybe wasn't. The BB cream was so natural. And if you guys remember from that video, that was my only issue with the BB cream. I was like, is it doing actually anything? Or is it just putting a thin layer of like clear sunscreen almost on my face? I'm going to do my makeup off camera and then I will be right back. So you know when you have like an eye palette that you love and you're like, I'm just gonna take my time with my makeup today. And then you just like keep dipping and you keep trying different colors. And then you realize that you've done like a full blown colored look and you didn't mean to do that. Yeah, that was me today. So ignore that. So let's try to focus on the base. So in the mirror, I think I'm really enjoying it. I think what I love most about it, I don't know, this might sound weird, but like I do have some blemishes here right now and it doesn't look completely caked on or covered all the way. And that's how I know that it is a natural looking type of tint or lightweight foundation versus a very high coverage. It's making them more subtle than I was experiencing with this BB cream we tested the other day. So it is 2 p.m. my friends and what we're going to do is I have a stream in about an hour and then after that hour Jack and I are taking a trip to the mall in order to return a few things before our trip coming up. And so we'll do like a little midpoint check-in on the oils and just how it's wearing by then and we can also do kind of a natural light. This is very natural light if I'm being honest I'm literally in front of a window but you know how like it could change when you walk outside or like sit in your car or something so so we'll do a check-in then so we can see what it looks like kind of out in the world because that's the whole point. I want it to look natural when I'm interacting with people. <laughs> and then, oh, thank you, darling. What do you think of my, my foundation? Ooh, love it. Is that the one I picked out? It is Ms. the Allie. one that you picked out, actually. Miss Allie, it's over here. Jack picked out the shade. What do you, do you like it? I like it a lot. Hold on. Oh, He's helping Miss Allie get the fly. That's, that's right there. Buzzing around. Wait for it, wait for it. We go bug hunting oh, together. Baby. Hi friends, it is a few hours later. It is exactly five hours later, four to five hours later. And this is what a natural light as well as a five hour check-in looks like right now. I am thinking that I really like it. My oils are definitely, I would say, peeking through, but it has been four to five hours. So that is something that definitely does happen normally with like really any foundation or even if I'm not even wearing foundation. I really, really like how skin-like this foundation is. Again, it is not a high coverage foundation, but that's kind of what I really like about it. I would feel very comfortable going to a party where it's like outside and I would be confident that it looks natural while looking like airbrush. As I get tanner, I can definitely see that my tan would poke through for sure. Bubba, what do you think of the foundation at I, five hours? I agree with everything you said. Oh, okay, good. It's so, so cute. <laughs> All right, my friends, final foundation. Are you peeing? <laughs> oh my God. Live with a boy, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Marry a vlogger, they said. <laughs> You'll have everything done. Final check and final thoughts on the foundation. I turned on the lights to get a good, solid look. And honestly, my friends, I'm a big fan. The light on the camera makes it look a lot more white. I don't know why, because I'm looking glowy and like tan as anything here in real life. But I really like it. I feel like it stayed really well. I don't see a ton of breakup. Definitely some settling within my tiny little like smile lines here. But honestly for, what is it? It's, I put it on at like 2 p.m. It's now 10.31, eight and a half hours of wear. We were streaming, we were driving places with the windows down after the stream. Like it was a full to do. And honestly, I'm very much very much enjoying it. I think it's a great lightweight summer foundation. What are your final thoughts on my foundation? Solid held up. Oh, Bubby. <laughs> I can't. 
I need this. <laughs> so guys, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did and you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, make sure you do so down below because we upload videos here every single Monday, Wednesday, and Sunday. I think the next vlog is going to be like packing, getting ready for the trip. You probably will find out where we're going in the next one because the next one will be posted on Sunday and by then you will be able to know where we are going on Thursday. Holy crap. I feel like whenever there is a trip coming up no matter how actually prepared I am and for this one we don't really have to be that prepared at all I still feel unprepared I feel very unprepared it's like my brain needs to find things to be unprepared about in order to prepare for the inevitable imaginary things that I don't actually need to be prepared for I have no idea like I just I don't know but make sure you do hit that subscribe button to find out where we're going find out more things about us Watch our vlogs. I don't know, guys. Everyone, don't forget to give this video a big ol' thumbs up, and I will catch you in the next one, my friends. I'll see you later. Bye!